Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday to you. We are connected. Setting up your music, setting up your space. If you're new, the playlist is for Anahata for this last day of this sequence, although you can replay it at any time. You'll need a block, you'll need a blanket. And bring yourself into a tall, upright seat. Let's fix Facebook and then we're set to go. So this work with the heart has been remarkable for me to the, the writing of Michael Singer that has asked us to open the heart so that we are not holding what has been. If I hold what has been, I can't hold what comes in right now. And Adam and I were speaking yesterday, this idea of if a bull runs into your china shop and you close the door, now you've locked the bull inside the shop. Now you've taken the difficulty of your experience and you've shut it into your body. And all it's going to do is continue to knock things down and knock you over and disrupt what else could transpire. And so if I can keep the door open, then any wild animal may enter, may careen through my life, but then with the door open, it can also leave. And great sunlight can stream through and then pass into sunset. That we are here to experience and participate and the heart being the portal, the way by which we experience the world, make sense of the world, participate in the world, and give it meaning. And that door of our heart being open is also how we express ourselves, how we exit and enter our lives. And if I close the door because it was difficult in the past, I am no longer participating with the fullness of my life. And so all of these gestures are building both physiological strength of lifting and strengthening, opening the heart and the lungs. And they're clearing the space around us so that we understand firsthand the experience of being available to the light that extends from me to the periphery, from the periphery to me, from my source to your source, from yours back to me. Open that door. Open that door, and when we open it, everything will come in. And everything is not comfortable, everything is not familiar, everything is not chosen. And so it requires a quality of trust. This is an excellent, excellent place to conclude. It is easy to fall down on your knees when the shining rain begins to happen. It is easy to be thankful for the bundles of wild roses Mm. ledged along the dune. Hold steady. <laughs> it's a tough start for me. It is as easy as if you were yourself, a flower in the field, the rain tossing you and tossing you.
until you too are that flower as torn and as torn and as muddy and as golden as all. It's easy to fall down on our knees when the shining rain begins to happen. It's easy to be thankful for the bundles of wild roses ledged along the dune. It is as easy as if you yourself were a flower in the field, the rain tossing you and tossing you until you are that flower, as torn, as muddy, as golden as all that. That is a heart wide open, that we are golden and torn and muddy all at once. The home that was bought for me has been sold and I will see it for the last time today. My girl will go to sleepaway camp and I will drop her this afternoon and there are conclusions and in the conclusions there are freedoms and in the freedoms there is the next and in the conclusions are all the things that were and all these things coming in and out of my heart can be overwhelming. And so in this practice, I lean into the familiarity of these 40 days, into the consistency of minute by minute, doing the same thing again and again until it is a beginning and a conclusion all at once. And we stay open, just so you know what's happening at this end. All is well. All is as it should be, and all is not easy, and all is alive. Ong Namo, I bow to everything outside of me, guiding me, healing me, holding me. Guru Dev Namo, I bow to everything inside of me, rising to meet it all. Three times, inhale. Ong Namo. Playlist begins at Naturalesa. Come to stand. Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday, happy day Friday. Happy day 40, not day Friday. And we begin. Inhale up, inhale down, inhale and exhale. In, 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 out. Start small, come into your ankles, your knees and your hips. Use the weight of the body to just find the deep bend and anchor into the heels and the toes and from your legs. Breathe. In, 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 out.
from the legs going down, the heart goes up. Open the abdomen, free the shoulders, hint of a smile. One more, standing tall, hip to heel goes down, hip to heart, rise tall, palms open, the space around you is bright, beginning. Reset your feet, take one elbow back, one hand out, change. Inhale left, exhale right. Until it becomes each one an exhale. Ax, ax, ax. back, inhale, chin up, three more, part up, chin, and heels down, and let it go. Widening your feet a step further, palms together, reaching up, knees bend, fold left, inhale, up, fold right. Three, two, and one. Inhale, hands up. 
up, chin up, three sips, go. Heart up, chin in, stay three. Little wriggle, get taller, stay two. Chin up, the breath out, widening down. The chest opens. Radiating out, the heart wide open. That we can feel as though sunlight streaming in, as though our vital life story can be seen in its fragility and in its power. And build your seat. Now we come to lie down on your back, down to the floor. <sighs> Letting your Knees be bent, your feet be flat, your arms are wide. Circle your right knee. Let the lying onto your back gives your diaphragm more space. The abdominal wall softens and the inner organs can move more freely. Extend your right leg and reach out of the space of the abdomen all the way to the tips of your toes, all the way to the tips of your fingers. And we start to make more space available. We have more options available, more responses are ours. Bend your right knee, reverse your circle. <sighs> Extending your leg all the way out, becoming absolutely interested in how far you can reach. Good. And change. Left knee circles. Through the knee, through the hip. Out of the left lung, out of the left chest, out of the left shoulder. Extend your leg. Good. Bending your knee, reverse your circle. Letting it be the last time, right? Extending your leg. And feeling the familiarity, feeling the progress you have made, feeling the gift that every circle before this has provided. One more. Good and two knees circle. If you choose working there or hands overhead as your legs extend. And reversing your circles. Feeling from the navel into the feet, feeling the strength that's required to take action. The navel is our interaction with the outer world, the expansion and the expression of our power. So knees bend, feet flat, right hand overhead, left leg long and stepped wide. Lift your head, shoulders, tap your heel, inhale to open and exhale to tap.
Good. So as you keep that top, cross your right ankle behind your left, and then foot down and hand open. Exhale to top, ax to cross. In down, in open. Exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale. Last time. And pause. Left hand overhead, right leg long. Step your right foot right. Lift your head and shoulders to tap your heel. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, tap your heel and open. Keep the tap, cross the left behind the right. And so it's at the navel center where we anchor right here. We build our confidence. We find our integrity by being in clear relationship between ourselves and what lies outside of us. One more. Good, feet down. Arms wide, legs long, heels wide, feeling energy from the navel radiate in all directions. The place of our transformation, the way we receive energy from that which surrounds us. Walk your feet in, cross your right ankle over the left knee, and right hand to right thigh, press away. Soften now. From the work of the abdomen, soften the belly. Soften the right hip and the right thigh and let it drop into the floor. And let the left shoulder drop open and down. And feel the line through the body from right hip to left shoulder. Open this. That to take action doesn't require force, that this is a reception. Right foot down, left ankle over the right knee, left hand, left thigh, press away, right hand wide. Let it move, let it settle, let it unclench through the gut, through the hip, through the hand, and drop your left hip. Drop your right shoulder and open the line between them. Soften the inner body. As we move from the navel to the heart energetically and anatomically, we go further inside an inner dignity. Knees to your chest. And roll up. So your heels widen. Shake out the knees and move side to side, beginning by reaching up and moving on by reaching across, closing your eyes, finding a steadiness here. find the center and sit up tall. Cross your right shin in front of your left and add a block. Block goes lengthwise in front. Walk your seat back. Press your outer knees down. Maybe hands to blocks. Maybe hands to the floor. Maybe head to block. Coming up, 
left forearm onto the block, right hand high, sweeping open. And then your right forearm in front of your left, folding down. You're opening from your right hip to your right hand and then taking that length and wrapping it down. Roll open and roll down. Right elbow heavy, right hip back and down. Stay three. Two. And coming up, change the cross so that your left chin is in front of your right chin. Hands to the blocks, walk your seat back and down, your heart forward, your outer knees down. Hands to the floor, elbows, head, soft, side to side, find your way in. Right forearm to the block, left hand sweeps up and open. Left hand to sweep down in front of the right. Inhaling, opening. And exhale, down. Again. And down. And pause, hip down, elbow down. To come upright, hands to thighs, and circle into your seat. Loosening those circles, smoothing them out. That door to the heart is metaphorical. And really the tension that exists through our entire body is what holds the door open or closed. Reverse your direction and you are opening, releasing through the seat and the inner organs. Releasing through the spine, becoming more willing through the chest, the collarbones, the throat, the face. And by staying steady, we learn to simply maintain what we've opened. In the face of boredom or fatigue, stay steady. Five, four, three, two, get it all, get it all. And pause tall. Heart up, chin lightly in, spine is long, seat is heavy, just feel what you've made, what's changed, the readiness of your body to hold your heart high. And then releasing, shake out your feet, rebuild your seat, and bring your legs to a cross leg posture. Add a block, add a bolster if you need to get higher, Sit up on a chair if you prefer. You can do this standing. But as we circle the arms, it's important that there's no rounding through the low back or it will strain and the heart will be limited no matter what your arms do. So we begin by finding a whisper of ha. Close the mouth, out the nose, a steady rhythm. 
doesn't have to match the music, spine is tall. And as you're ready, shoulders and elbows begin to circle. Keep the breath. Extending out into the fingers. Lift the pelvic floor, heart up, chin in. Find the length of your spine and find the ease in your arms. Hint of a smile. Elevate the state around you. Elevate the state within you. Open to the possibilities. All we go. Feel the strength of your arms, the strength of your back. Three, two, hands up high. Inhale, three sips. Heart up, chin in, stay three. Stay two. Chin up, exhale, stay here. Inhale. Heart up, chin in, lift the pelvic floor, trace the energy up your spine, up your spine, up your spine, top of the head, keep it. Chin up, breath out, stay here. You can, you are here, you are safe, inhale. Hold the breath in, heart up, three sips, adding on, little more. Lift the pelvic floor, trace the spine, reach to the fingers, chin up, breath out, arms wide. And you've stabilized your elevation. It's not a high, it is a stair step. When we pause the breath, when we pause our attention, when we raise our attention higher through the body like that, we're taking a step up. We're not getting high and floating around and then crashing to the ground. We are methodically elevating our experience of ourselves in a way that is trustworthy and sound. Come back into your body, onto your back. Interlace your fingers over the left shin, right leg long. Inhale up, exhale down.
all the way through the heel. Hold the left shin close. And change sides. Draw your right knee in. You're creating a crease in the hip like origami paper. You're opening and closing the left side. Ha! Taking out any tension from the left side, low back. Lengthening through the hamstring into the feet. Three. Two. And you'll roll up to find your block. Put the block between your thighs. Give yourself a boundary. Heels down. Thighs hold the block. Elbows beside you. Lift your hips. Stand in your elbows to lift your heart. And then roll back down. Inhaling, peeling up and open. And then exhale down. Take your time. The first few rounds. And then become molten. You're lifting your hips, you're pouring your heart a little higher up into your shoulders. As if there was a bowl in your belly and you could pour it up towards your head. Close your eyes, move easily and simply. Where are you holding? Where is it building? As you set down, let the whole body open. Empty the thighs, empty the effort. Keep opening the doors. You're not building congestion, you're making freedom. Three, two, one more, up and down. And then set the block aside. Walk your heat at heels long, widen the heels, turn your hands open, shake the feet side to side, knees up and down, wag your tail. Breathe up into the center of your chest, staying open, which has a physiological component, soften the surface of your chest, the arms, And then invite the breath to get larger. Notice the sensation between your heels, your knees, your hips, your navel, your heart. And receive that line of light. Walk your feet in. And roll up. Bring yourself to a seat, legs crossed, heart high. And your fingertips to your shoulders, turning left and turning right. Inhale left, exhale right, steady. Feel your jaw loosen, your eyes loosen, your elbows rising, your seat descending. Good. Let your wrist rise over your elbow. Inhale left, exhale right.
Good. And bring your hands together. Interlace your fingers. Point the first fingers at the ceiling. Make a steeple. And again, turn in left, out right. It's quick and strong. Straighten your arms. Open your elbows. Root down from your heart to your hips. And rise up from your heart to your hands. And the spine opens in between the two. And you rinse. X, 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 X. Hint of a smile. We revolve. Ha. <sighs> Three, two, one. Find the center. Inhale up. Three more sips. Heart up, chin in. Catch the breath. Firm the arms. Lift the pelvic floor. Trace the line of the spine. Chin up, breath out. Arms wide. Hmm. Bring it all with you, belly down on the left side of your mat. Your right arm wide to the right, right palm flat to the floor, rolling to your right side, bend your knees, drop your head. Roll your left knee open. Drop your head more and more and more. Softening the right side shoulder, softening the glutes, softening the back of your neck, the surface of your face. That the space of the heart is one of the interior, the inner dignity you hold for why you're here. That you have a purpose, you have a trust in your role belly down, rolling to the right side. So the left ribs to the floor, the left hip to the floor, bend your knees, drop your head, roll your right knee open. Soften the left shoulder, soften the face, notice the holding. Walk your feet out, belly down. Hands out long, tops of your feet flat, pinky edge of your hand to the floor, right hand, left foot to lift, and down. Left hand, right foot. And lengthen through the back of your neck by looking down slightly and work right there. That's modification one. Or right fingertips to the floor, right toes tuck under, left hand back, lift your heel and down. So I'm raising the left heel, working there or holding the outer ankle for a half bow. Opening the left side chest, strengthening through the back of your body, through the hamstrings, Good. One more. Changing left hand out, right hand back. You may continue with alternate hands if you're doing it, or cross your forearms and rest your forehead. Going on, right hand holds the outer ankle. Feel how it strengthens the upper back, lifting you up. Again, this dignity coming from your power. A recognition of your own value. And one more. And down. Hands beside you, pressing back, wide kneed child, hips back, arms long, chest long, chin in. Or downward facing dog. If you choose whatever you choose, stay for three breaths. Mm -hmm. 
We'll meet on hands and knees. Round your back, tuck your chin, spread through the spine, and then release. Working right there. Your knees are under your hips. Your hands are under your shoulders. Move through the spine. Stay right there. Or walk yourself to belly down with your knees bent and your palms flat beside your ribs. As you extend your legs, your legs lift your heart. As you roll back down, your knees bend. So you're using the legs to lift yourself into a cobra. And you open your mouth out with a ha wherever you are. Keep the breath, close the mouth, out the nose. to your knees, put your knees together, put your feet together and bring your hips back and your ribs over your thighs. Deep breath into the back body. To roll onto your back, to roll forward and back. Just three times and roll up to stand as you finish for three, for two. Coming to stand, feet flat, palms open, body open, bending your knees, palms together, tail back. Inhale up and exhale down. Work there or hands to your shoulders. Work there or interlace your fingers behind the base of your skull, opening and closing. For five. And four. Standing tall, turn your palms open, the heart open, the experience moving through you. cross-legged seat, set it down. We let our energy in, we let our energy out, we let our experience in, we let it out. Circling the shoulders and the elbows to begin, open your mouth, find a whisper of ha, close your eyes. Close your mouth, out your nose, and explore into the fingertips. Hands are soft as though tossing petals, faces soft and welcoming, inviting, encouraging, experiencing.
pelvic floor lifted, heart up, chin in. This will open the energy that follows the spine, the sushumna, right to the top of your head, clear everything else. Three, two, hands up high. Inhale, three sips, go. Heart up, chin in, lift the pelvic floor. Trace the line of the spine, crown of the head. Stay, chin up, breath out. Inhale. Hold the breath, gather your attention to the spine. Pelvic floor rising. Trace the line up the body, crown of the head, chin up, breath out, stay, stabilizing prana. One more inhale. Three sips. Pause, pelvic floor rising. Be still, be elevated, soften around it, chin up, widen down. Stay with that sense of stability. Pause your playlist. Sit up tall. sensation in the chest, the sensation through the spine, that you are a sacred, muddy, golden flower in the rain, experiencing it all, available to the fullness of your life. This is the energy of anahata, even though we know there is mud, even though we know petals will be lost, we still hold what we have high. We let the world through and beyond us. And in this, we know a truth Sat, that no matter our form, no matter what we've been through or what lies ahead, we are held in light. This is our truth, a fullness, a freedom, and a trust. This is Sat. Kartar is she, he, or they who acts with this trust with this freedom, with this fullness. So palms together, sat, palms face forward, kar, K-A-R, palms press out, tar, T-A-R, together, sat, kar, tar, 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 sat, Kar tar, sat 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 kar tar.
tar, sat kar 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 tar. Sat kar tar, 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 sat kar. Tar, sat kar 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 tar, sat kar. Two more. Sat kar tar, sat kar tar. Palms open, hands to your lap. If you want to do more, continue, continue. If you lose your way in days ahead, and you feel your light is diminished and your choices are at risk. Come back to that gesture. It needs no preamble. And remind yourself that you are the actor of your truth. You are the architect of this light that moves through you and into your life and into the lives of others. Use sat kartar when you falter, when you forget. It will open the chest and you will remember this. Seated here if you choose as long as you like, or lying back to rest, to receive what you've made. Restart your playlist. Three minutes. Let it in. Let your breath loosen. Let the body be open and undefended, the heart unstruck.
reaching out, breathing in. And rolling to your right side, rounding your back. And reaching wide, sweeping high. Palms together, bring your thumbs to the center of your chest. Repeat in your mind or aloud, I expand in success, abundance, and love every day. As I inspire those around me to do the same. Release it wide. Gather it in. Thumbs to the forehead center. I bow to this, who I am, my light and my ways. Eight count sat, two count nam, inhale. Sat Nam I bow to myself I bow to you Namaste Bless the fingers, for they are as darting as fire. Bless the little hairs of the body, for they are softer than grass. Bless the hips, for they are cunning beyond all other machinery. Bless the mouth, for it is the describer. Bless the tongue, for it is the maker of words. Bless the eyes, for they are the gifts of the angels. They tell the truth. Bless the shoulders, for they are a strength and a shelter. Bless the, bless the thumb, for when working it has godly grip. Bless the feet for their knuckles and their modesty. Bless the spine, for it is the whole story. And bless your heart. For all that it holds and all that it knows. Thank you for these 40 days of Anahata. We'll have this week as a pause. You can replay anything you like. You can go to walk. You can rest and lie down and see the clouds at mid midday. I will return on Saturday for Vinyasa to begin to open the throat, Vishuddha. This is known as the center of mastery, where the purpose of our heart meets the abilities of the mind and forms words. And in the words, it forms boundaries, it forms shapes, it forms structure, it forms intention. Our words create all that we are and all that we know. So this is the master of our energy. And the next place we go, out of the shoulders and out of the neck and the upper back and coming out of us and into the great beyond, Vishuddha. At the end of each Sunday class, as I go forward into the fifth energy center, the sixth and the seventh. At the end of every class, I will have a Dharma talk so we can have more time, less at the beginning and more at the end for the philosophy, for the lessons that hold these centers, for how precious and how informed they are. So we can look forward to that addition. Be well, be wise, and I will see you next Saturday. Enjoy the pause. I can't wait to see you again.
ਸਕਣਾ